What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a little adventure with the family and friends. We're going to be in the mountains of Colorado. We're gonna find some snow, do some sledding, and we're gonna make some food, so join along. So today we brought along the Anchor Solix C1000. I love this unit because it, the amount of outlet it has, it also has a flashlight and you can see everything within your iPhone or your Android. And we actually brought this device down to Baja. So we tested this pretty much in broad daylight in the sun so it can handle extreme heat. And we are here in the mountains of Colorado and it's handling, I think it's like 30 degrees or so right now. So, and it's doing great. And we brought along a lot of things today. We brought our fridge, we got, brought a little tea kettle, a waffle maker, a couple other things that we are using this to power. And something that we actually needed a lot was a heated blanket to keep the kids warm when they got cold. So this thing was definitely necessary for our trip just because we wanted to really take the entire day to enjoy outside and, st and still stay comfortable and warm. So nice, Russ. So Colorado just got one of the biggest snowstorms of the year. And you can kind of tell with how deep the snow is. We got, I think this spot got about two feet or more of snow. So we took three trucks up here, hoping to see if we could find a trail that was open enough, but we couldn't get past the entrance to get into the trail. So we ended up just tearing down part of the snow where the entrance is. And then we ended up here, which is just right next to the road. but. This was the perfect spot because the kids were having fun um, making snowman and tubing and all that stuff. So it was super fun and this was the perfect spot really, even though it didn't seem like it at the beginning. But this guy right here kind of saved the day because we were able to power everything and uh, let's, we could actually go through this a little bit. So on top we have a nice light that you can use to dim if it does get dark. Um, right here we have the power button, which will turn on and off the display. This one here is the cigarette lighter. You get one of those. You get one, two, three, four, five, six outlets on the bottom, which you can turn on here. And then you can connect to your phone with this button here underneath the power button. And then you get two USB-Cs. One's a 10 watt and the other one's a 30. So a little bit faster charging. And then you have two uh, standard USB ports back there. This is the Anchor and Anchor is, or has been around for quite some time and they have they are known to be one of the, kind of the premier, one of the first people to come out with battery packs. I remember when they first came out, they had little tiny ones that pretty much everybody that I knew had one of those. And seeing that they're getting into like bigger power stations like this was very cool. And one of my favorite things about this one is that it charges super fast. So that's the one thing I hate the most is just something that takes so long to charge. And being able to charge it if I did forget the night before, before we go on an adventure like this to plug it in and be ready within an hour or so is pretty awesome. And we actually got the solar panel with it. So if we wanted to, we could put out the solar panel today and charge it but being that it does have or we have some overcast today that the actual you know sun isn't going to be very effective with the solar panel okay.
Oh, this is good. So we've been out here for about four hours now and using the anchor the entire time, making waffles, cooking, and running the heated blanket and the fridge, and it's been running great. And it's only down to 60%. It's 30 degrees outside, and it's still running super efficient, which I'm pretty surprised just because with batteries, they tend to not do very well when it gets cold. So the fact that Anchor somehow made it so that way it still runs efficient in the cold is pretty awesome. But it also works well in the heat of summer as well. We took it down to Baja for about three weeks and we used the Anchor to power pretty much everything we had. We aired up our powder boards, we had our fridge running, we had Starlink plugged into it, we used it for pretty much everything, and it actually never failed on us, which is great, because that would have been horrible to be out there without service and with, you know, just rotting food in the fridge or anything like that. I'm extremely satisfied with the C1000 and being that Anchor has been around so long creating the small power banks and now the big ones that they have a, a very long reputation with a system like this. All right guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I will have the C1000 down in the description if you guys wanted to pick one up for yourself or check it out. Anchor is a great company to have behind you guys when you guys are selecting a power bank. So that's gonna be it, we'll see you guys next time.